Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Garblag Games. Thank you very much for joining us on this wonderful Thursday night. I hope our friends over here in the UK are enjoying the lovely weather, and uh, I hope it's all good on the other side of the pond. I am joined tonight with some fantastic players and a couple of Garblagites themselves, some Garblites of the Apocalypse, um, as if they didn't trust me or something. I yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so we'll do a bit of a round table, quick recap of what happened week before last. Then we'll get into a bit of um, Cyberpunk Red. If we've got time at the end, we'll do XP and how that works as well. If we're so, alive. Survives. If you're alive. <laughs> might do it just even if you're alive. It really depends how long this next seat goes, Factor. You might all die in the first five minutes and then we'll just be padding. Let's okay. See good one. <laughs> Padding. We've never done this before. <laughs> so, with that in mind, let's start with Ben. Hello, I am Ben. I'm playing Tane Waitu, who go. is uh, media. He can't ride a motorbike, he can't shoot a rocket launcher or a machine gun, uh, but he looks cool failing at doing both of those things. Uh, Roger? Uh, hi, I'm Rog, and I am playing Switch, who is the tech. He also can't ride a, ride a motorbike. He is quite good with a gun, though, but he's mainly good at fixing things. Aaron? Hey, everybody, I'm Aaron, and I am playing Stitch. Um, it's the only name you know him by because he doesn't give out his real name to anybody except for those who he truly likes, and that doesn't count for any of these three, so... Uh, he is a uh, very serious, stable guy, followed his father into medicine and became a med tech for a uh, trauma team. Uh, he takes side jobs like this to earn enough money to keep his off the books clinic in Mega Building 13 running. Um, he's seriously considering his life choices now as he's preparing to jump onto a motorcycle and chase down some people with these uh, three retrobates. But He's going to do it anyway because he needs the credits or the Euro box. And finally, with only about 12 hours left to live, is... Hello, I'm Pete, and I'm playing Lofax, the asshole of the team. Um, I would sell them all out for a Euro buck uh, or a fancy rocket launcher. That looks pretty cool. Um, I arrange rocker boy gigs to sell dodgy weapons to people in the backstage area. Uh, and I love guns. I'm not that great at shooting them. I'm not. I'm okay at riding a motorbike. I I, I think we're going to find out whether it's twelve hours to live or twelve minutes. So we'll see. And it looks like that. Uh... Lofax has already got the support of the chat, uh, what with being identified by non anomaly as Lofax R.I.P. <laughs> uh, Thanks, non anomaly. Thank Love you too. Thanks, <laughs> thanks non anomaly, for all the re rolls. I'm yeah. sure they're going to need it. Thank you very much. Okay, so uh, when last we saw our heroes following an encounter in the um, offices of a private security firm. Um, the heroes were chased out of the chased out of the um, offices by by uh, by ass <laughs> Arasaka Security Services. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I forgot that joke. Uh, by Arasaka Security Services, um, tasked for, by Ruby to um, take the head of the Cyborg Ninja Corporate Assassin that had been sent after them down to the Dream Speakers. Um, who are experts? Dream thieves. Dream thieves, sorry. Who are experts at retrieving memories, nightmares, and whatnot from your subconscious, which they normally sell on the black market and get a good pay for. So, um, our guys were able to um, bargain their way past the the, uh, the evil dream thieves. Evil, nah, misunderstood, maybe. I don't know. Miscreant. Miscreant. Evil. I mean, they were. <laughs> Their, their they're base, fucked up. They're fucked up. <laughs> their base they drove into like, in... a place where we were just sitting around minding our own business and still shooting up the place. Stitch, uh, Stitch kind of considers them targets of opportunity at this point, but not until after the job. <laughs> uh, so they were able to retrieve some information from the head of the cyborg in return for their worst yet or best memories. 
Um, this was successful. They managed to bring the information back up to Boxtown, where Ruby was waiting for them. No, not Ruby. Yes. Ruby was waiting for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know what I'm doing, honest. <laughs> <laughs> Um, where she, where basically the information pointed to um, our friendly white berets, better known as douchebags, <laughs> tree speakers, <laughs> um, who you have been informed were basically packing up and going on their bikes, trucks, and whatnot. They were clearing out of the mega building. So, using the bikes that you had managed to ascertain, ascertain all the way back in episode one. Uh, back in episode one, uh, uh, I think liberate is the term. Liberate, liberate. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, they are now good to go. Uh, however, when we had got these bikes, they had kind of like been pimped out with various bits of, you know, dirty metal, uh, scrap bits, you know, spikes, chains, all awesome. this kind of stuff. But now, Roger's pimped them out a bit and cleaned them up a bit. What do they look like now? Uh, so, they now look really, really flash. Uh, they basically have been just done up with sail in mind, so they look nearly new, because I spent a lot of time working on them. Very shiny, very kind of garish colours that shiny and chrome. are trendy in this. Not for yeah, long! There's, def- <laughs> there's definitely some chrome on there. Uh, one of them... One of them will be left behind, though. Only the two that I liberated are done up to look flash, so... Okay, so there are four bikes, but how many bikes do you want to take? Well, I'll ride one. Because some people might want to get on the back of another one and shoot while someone else rides. Stitch will drive one. Stitch will drive one. I assume one. it's going to be uh, difficult to drive and shoot at the same time. I'll I'll ride on the back of Stitch's as his Okay. Gun. Come on, Tane. Tane, do you want to get on the back? Well, who's shooting? I'm going to hand Tane the rocket launcher. Come on. <laughs> okay. Right. Fantastic. Okay, which end do I point at then? The, you see the one with the big hole in? That it goes out. The big, that goes, the big hole's out the back. I this, just, this I, I would just, launch. I would love to see in real life somebody firing a shoulder-mounted rocket launcher oh. off of a motorcycle. That would just, <laughs> it would not. Got to line up the angles hilarious. of force <laughs> exactly. Otherwise, we're just all over the road. The, um, the... Not to mention, with the driver in front, his head is going to be vaporized. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Tane's going to at that moment. Tane's going to be like. Mounting whoa, me whoa, whoa, on whoa, top whoa. of the bike. Optimistically, he'll just I'm hoping. be deafened for the rest of his life. Yeah, yeah. So the rocket launcher itself was presented to you in a sort of... It's a Militech um, cargo container, metal, um, packing, packed up. You flip the switches, type in a security code, and it kind of opens up with a bit of a hiss. Inside a sort of foam polystyrene rig... Um, is this rocket launcher. Because these things go on the market and are designed to be used by not only Militech um, security forces, but also armed forces across the world, uh, assault and mainstream governments, yeah, it's also kind of got instructions on it. Um, So it's very simple to use. (laughs) It's got a sort of... Congratulations on (laughs) Congratulations on your purchase. Does it say the words, do not fire while on the back of a motorbike? (laughs) No, it's got all those those pictures with crosses through. And one is on the back of a motorbike. (laughs) "Eh, eh." In my head, I've got the end scene of Beverly Hillcop 2 when he has the... Broker Lodge and he goes, Oh, extend this, pull that. Yeah, yeah. And then it fires backwards. (laughs) That's the wrong way. Okay, so... Okay, Not the I'll rocket launcher in Beverly Hills Cop 3. This... <laughs> I'll carry the rocket launcher. We'll get out ahead of the bad guys. And then I'll hand the rocket launcher to someone who knows how to shoot one. Oh, okay. We'll get there and front. I'll shoot it, don't we? You can hold that. Just hold the uh, these things. I'll say pointing at the handlebars. Point, hold on to these while I shoot it, yeah? Let's go. <laughs> <You're all laughs> <gonna die. laughs> Physics be damned. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's movie action. Physics be damned. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so... You guys jumping... If you've got a spare bike, um, Ruby will come with you. 
I thought she was in prison. That didn't she, she got yeah, bailed she out was, alarmingly she got fast. Released, yeah. She got yeah. bailed out. Oh, oh I'm not advertising fast. the fact I've got an extra bike. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> that, that's my money right there. That's cool. She so needs to got, tell. She needs to tell people how brave we were. <laughs> she needs to be able to to to, to sing right. the she annals could, and tell the tales. Could go on the back of one of the others, surely. Not if we're all. Uh, on no. The back uh, of two. Oh, then the there's back of... then there's two spare bikes. Oh, okay. So she can take. A, she'll take one. Um, could I? Could I yeah. rudimentarily mount the rocket launcher on the mount motorbike? <laughs> Ordinarily, yes, I would say that you're. But we've got about ten minutes. Yeah, let's go. We've got less than that. <laughs> yeah. um, I think. Um, Do you really want the exhaust for that thing right next to your gentleman's area? Switch it. Switch is. There's nothing hand. gentlemanly switch about is, my area. Switch is tool hand, which we don't talk about. Um, would proficiently do the job. However, you have to go now because yeah. and, they and it was already, a silly idea. So. <laughs> they're already hitting the high road. Come on, guys. Uh, on the, we're the on the freeway. And you're I, taking sort of... I, I'm assuming half of this is we're actually going, and I'm saying, oh, it'd be really take... cool if I could mount it on the side of the bike. <laughs> so don't worry. I'm not going to make you roll for starting your bike and um, freeing away. But in almost a very sort of a la Biker Mice from Mars, you jump on your bikes, rev them up, awesome. smoke puffs out. Um, there's almost Hello, a What's chair. the Night City Ordinance on helmet wearing? Uh, helmet wear is legal, however... Fuck up my mohawk, man. Screw that. You're on the outskirts of... Um... We also don't have any helmets, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wearing Sorry. a helmet. We're on the clock here, <laughs> fellas. Not on the job. Let's go. He's did it again. <laughs> he pulls out of the exhausts. Um, there's a cheer from the crowds of box of uh, box town as they know what you're up to, and you go shooting down the um, mm. centre high street of box town. Fairy lights kind of dangling in the gust of wind as you leave behind. People go, go kick their guy asses, fuck them up, that kind of thing. Because um, they all know where you're going, and frankly, the, those um, tree speakers came down into this town of Rectors, so they're damn riled behind you, riled yeah. up that you're going over to uh, basically tear them a new one so you shoot out the car park you've been given directions over your communication links by ruby and you're going into a huge um extractor fan um of a kind of air conditioning unit but it all built into the sidewall this thing is actually fake and then and again almost um you know the Batmobile, oh cool! Shooting out the back cave, the 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 blades of the air conditioning fan kind of fold up, and you go th- into the tunnel. Very cool. Your lights come on. So it's like bum, 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 bum. I'm pumping out some classical music. <laughs> Stan Bush, the touch. Nice. Stan Bush, the touch. Yes, love it. <laughs> now this is more of a synthwave moment. We're on bikes with like flashing lights. <laughs> I don't know. The synthwave. Anything cyberpunk. Um, so you're basically the idea is, is that this route is used by um by the various different crime organizations of mega of the uh, mega building uh to smuggle in some some goods on vehicles. You will come out onto the freeway in the tunnel that goes through the, um, the mega building. And as you approach, it's all dark around you apart from the lights on your bikes. And in the distance, you can see the kind of dim, dark, yellow tunnel lights that you get. Um, and you can hear, you can hear some of the traffic. And you can hear horns going, ah, 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 and the occasional gunshot. <laughs> Right, something's going on. And in front of you, the other air conditioning fan vent. This one doesn't kind of fold up neatly. This one drops forward into the tunnel, making a rudiment and kind of oh yeah, uh, a ramp flatten out into a ramp. However, as you approach, the ramp doesn't go all the way down. 
it's actually about a 10 foot drop to the road bring it on as you hit the highway and all this fast speeding traffic is going through so as you're coming out you can see you can see the you can see the freeway it's it's like any underground major underground tunnel you've been through it's domed not domed it's curved there are yeah orange and yellow lights there's traffic going both ways there's these futuristic speedy cars some of them are sports some of them are on uh, some of them are hovering some of them on tires uh, but you can see uh the the white berets of the gang kind of driving into distance they've been shooting off their guns like getting people out of the way so first of all drivers make a drive roll as you hit the ramp and then come off onto the concrete sorry the tarmac beneath you stitch just shouts behind him Good luck, Switch. We're gonna need this it. Is, this is on hold on, Tony. Thirteen or more. Uh, yeah. I rolled a nine, so I got seventeen. I rolled a nine. I rolled a nine as well. Yeah. Uh, for a. We uh, go at the same moment. <laughs> High five in midair. <laughs> <laughs> so these two bikes come off the ramp. They're momentarily up in the air. The front wheels hit the ground. There's a you know screeching squeak as they hit the. Um, hit the ground beneath them. There's a tire smoke. There's a smell of burnt rubber, and then the back wheels hit, which have all the torque and the thrust. And there's even more burning rubber. You guys start shooting off into the traffic. The traffic is coming towards you. <laughs> <laughs> so Brilliant. you and the um, dream, uh, not dreams, dream weavers, um, dream oh, truth speakers, truth speakers. Truth speakers. Truth speakers. I should have come up with some better names. Uh, truth speakers are riding against the flow of traffic. Uh, okay. So these vehicles are coming towards you. You're chasing your enemy against the car. So there are various vans, trucks, sports cars, um, all sorts. There's no sign of the um, of the fuzz of um, um, Nice City Police. No and, ass well, in view. Is there a, well, so it's interesting. The so jurisdiction the is maybe not for you, mate. Display. You want to see my view. <laughs> the jurisdiction here is a little bit fuzzy because Mega Building 13 and everything within it is solely the rights of Arasaka Security Services, as for short. And it is their property. It is their right to um, manage it and secure it and police it however they see fit. That's their contract with Night City. However, technically, you're now on the freeway. You're on this large piece of motorway that circles around Night City like the M25 or uh, like the, the New York highways or whatever. So we're only doing like two miles an hour then. <laughs> Except in the future. It's a car that park. authentic M25 yeah, it's a car experience. Park. <laughs> <laughs> it's Operation Stack. Um, well, here, how, here in California, motorcycles can split lanes so you can drive in and around and mm -hmm. weave nice. through traffic at, at Apparently, as high a speed as you can possibly go to <laughs> just at your motorcycle. own risk, which is exactly hey, what you guys do. One time in Rome, I saw a guy on a motorbike not stop for a crossing and weave through a crowd of people and not hit anyone. I, uh, I, uh, um, everyone screamed. It was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I've lost my. Yes. So, the jurisdiction here is a little bit iffy though technically at this time you are in the building you are on the freeway which would be night city police force uh night city um night and night city <laughs> pd uh police department but you know night city pd traffic control traffic police uh but there's no sign of them yet so let's have your first drive rolls against the traffic this is going to be a little bit more tricky this is going to be 15s or more please gentlemen quick question um the truth speakers are are they on bikes are they in cars what's um, what's the configuration let's do that after the roll got it because <laughs> you you know at this point you might get knocked over you might not even get a chance to have a peek um that's, true. that's a good point this is tane waiting reporting what? live on the tane report you might think i'm bringing you a traffic update but that's not the case here You'll notice we're going against the grain with the traffic. Luckily, some highly skilled drivers are leading the charge here as we are in pursuit of some wanted criminals. Oh, shit! <laughs> I rolled uh, two, two tens and a oh. six. Nice. A total of 
36. <laughs> Can I be just behind Stitch's oh, bike? Yeah, what <laughs> okay. did you get? Here we go. I'm Roger. Uh, 13. Less than 36. It was 15. Uh, I'll use my reroll. Oh. I rolled a 10. All right, you're good. And a 3. 13, so that's 21. So getting behind, getting kind of in and out of each other's um, slipstream. Airflow, slipstream, thank you, that's what we're looking for. You accelerate through the highway. Um, you dodge and weave inside and out of all these vehicles. Multicolored cars flash past you. And you see the occasional kid in the window going, oh, Mommy, Daddy, look! As, as you shoot past these vehicles. At one point, Stitch is hurtling towards um, a car. He's about to hit it head on, but he slides it. He basically puts his knee against the floor and manages to slide the vehicle underneath the car and then back up again as he continues driving. I'll um, look at Tony and say, that's just dangerous. Don't on my back. So yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> you know, I once saw a guy do that with a horse. <laughs> right, so... The... White berets are on three bikes, as per description earlier. You know, um, drag bikes, but with all the kind of metal and spikes and kind of heavy metal vibes. One half truck with um, six wheels, three on each side, and a rear heavy mounted sort of machine gun with a guy on it. One it is smart having the same number of wheels on each side. <laughs> um, it's decadent, that's what that is. <laughs> it is decadent, isn't it? Did, uh, sorry, I'm, did you say rear mounted machine gun? Rear mounted heavy machine gun. That's more gun what I'm worried about than don't. rear mounted heavy machine gun. Three bikes, a half truck with a rear mounted heavy machine gun, and one van. Um very much in the vein of um, um, a camper van kind of thing. Um, except it's got bits of sheet metal slammed onto it um, for protection. There's a bit of a sort of um, Mad Max vibe here, post-apocalyptic with this van. It's got it's been armoured up. Um, there's not a turret on top, but there is kind of, it's been constructed so that someone can kind of Lay down and shoot with a rifle, and there is a gunner. There is a guy in there with a rifle. Now, remember, Ruby. I say Ruby standing order. More like her request was, we need to prove once and for all that the these white berets were responsible for 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 these crimes and that it to prevent the to, to prevent the. Um, the gang war erupting in mega in the in the mega building, therefore, kind of lo preventing lots of innocent people dying. They packed up all their shit. It is more than likely in that van. So that's the target. Get me paperwork. Get me prisoners. Whatever. We just need to prove it. I think that's all gone out of my head. <laughs> Don't worry. I've got a live stream running. I'm like through my agent. Let's take these fuckers down. There's a heavy machine gun. We've got to get that shit. <laughs> I want that gun. <laughs> yeah. Over your, over your radius. Okay, that so... guy's leg. <laughs> that guy's leg. Right, so... Mm. Um, they are ahead of you. It's going to take another turn, another two turns to catch up, so two more sets of rolls for, for driving. However... Vehicles will start getting longer range Either weapons way. for those who have them. We'll be able to shoot them. Ooh, what? Starting now? Uh, start no, starting next turn. So, all right. I'll basically I'll communicate to Stitch when I get in range, so he knows that the gunshots are going to be starting, so he doesn't shit himself. Stitch, and I've been in nice. combat zones for years. You think I'm going to crap myself over these yahoos? Stitch. I'll start driving it's, evasively. It's more the it's sound of an assault rifle, rifle going off next to your head. Stitch, low facts, make a roll. Hey, uh, Tane, Tane, in my left pocket there, there's a flashbang. It better be. Like, 
chuck like that guy that guy on the turret there chuck the flashbang in there the fuck i won't be able to a long range weapons us. are gonna get him the hats no, when we hat. get closer we're gonna, okay. we're gonna yeah i was gonna say is he packing i'm a going to be deliberately uh as when we get closer not right now i'm going to be trying to hide behind civilian vehicles wherever possible you know if you pull up alongside i could just pop that right, bad boy through case, the window all right i rolled a seven packs. so i got 15 i got a five and got a 15. Just okay. showing off now, aren't you? Both I? good. You're both good. You dub. <laughs> squeaking. Squeaking <laughs> yeah. under the... Just like... You, you, do, you do your five Ds. Dodge, duck, dip, dive, and duck. dodge. dodge. And dodge. <laughs> <laughs> now, we and bit, you know, we went from... Uh, I don't know. I think know. we might be up to six Ds because you could probably add defecate to that. <laughs> I mean, perhaps we practice by throwing wrenches at each other. <laughs> Um, so the vehicles, again, move between various different um, oncoming traffic. One of the major distractions here are the flashing lights and um, tooting horns of highly pissed off um, more uh, evening community, commuters and um, traffic users. So much so that you do get the occasional hand weapon pointed at you from out of windows. Because let's face it, everyone's probably packing and everyone's a bit pissed off at you for driving the wrong way. Um, I'm not going to make you dodge anything, but the occasional angry bullet does whiz past your head. <laughs> As, Between uh, your anti-dazzle and my anti-deafen, we should be all right otherwise. Yep. So that's the second roll. So now, people with long-range weapons, a la the rocket launcher. There was an assault rifle somewhere. Yeah, you I've had got that. One. Um, you can do that while driving if you wish. Uh, I'm, on, I'm not driving. To shoot. Who's driving yours? Uh, Aaron. Oh, Sti- oh, yeah, sorry, of course. Yeah, Stitch is right, driving my motorbike. Yes, sorry. Can so... people please stop handing me assault weapons? <laughs> <laughs> so, Stitch, do you want to shoot your... Um, Tape oops. them together, Tane. <laughs> All right, yeah, I'm going to be aiming for the guy on the heavy machine gun because that's clearly the biggest threat here. Okay, so hold hold fire on that a second. So assault rifle. Um, you are about coming up to about sixty yards. Well, no, probably a little bit longer. Eighteen. <laughs> yeah. Plus, mm, you're taking an aim shot. He's behind cover. The lighting conditions are rough. Minus one. So. I will oh, say. Well, see what happens. Yeah, roll. You need 15 or more. Uh, although, what a minus two. I got, well, I got a 20. What's the minus minus two? Yeah, just 18. take away two. Yeah? All right, nice. Okay, roll for that much. That's a good start. 6 6 1. That's a critical. 6 2. So, 18 9. Uh, 1920. Hold on. 1821. Right. Oh, and a critical. So we get to roll on a critical table. How does that work? Uh, um, yeah. Please roll 2d6 on the oh, body. Yeah. Oh, hang on. Uh, 10. Uh, spinal injury. Oh, 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 oh,
kind of barrels over like this. He doesn't fall, but it looks like he's basically been punched in the stomach or received a massive football to the t- to the ch- to the tummy area, and he this, as he goes, a huge slather of blood kind of ejects from his mouth as he's, as in, as he's hemorrhaging internal bleeding. And it just kind of shoots out and spatters all over the um, the highway beneath him. Nice shot, Switch. Yeah! Let's right, that on that thing opening motion. up on us. Tane, do you want to take a shot with anything? I am utterly useless in this situation, I'm afraid. All I've got is a medium pistol. Gun, gunfire is useful, though, just like... Sh- you're just covering oh, fire. Put them under fire. Do nothing. Like, yeah, I mean, this this thing will do nothing. With pistol, but... yeah, you can try. I don't. Th- Let me check the. Yeah, range. suppressive. Actually, oh, you need a forty-seven to hit. Suppressive fire. Instead of Believe. leaning against range, you will make an attack against the enemy's will plus concentration. Each enemy within. Oh, it's only within twenty-five meters though for suppressive okay. fire. Um. Yeah, he'd need a thirty or more. Um, is there anything else I could do to run distraction on them? Oh, streetwise, I'm really good at that. Sass mouth them. What do I know about these roads that could be useful? Okay. Potholes. <laughs> Make a streetwise roll for me. You betcha. Oh, you beauty. Nine... And seven is sixteen. Um, plus ten is twenty-six. Right. You know that coming up underneath this this highway, passing over the highway is the monorail, and the highway itself has to kind of temporarily do a sort of underpass and then come back up again. Architecturally difficult to do in a mega building however they just kind of dug down a bit and then kind of brought the road back up again so there is a level of concrete coming up that if you shot at could bring literally bring the roof down i will communicate this to my colleagues fellas there's a choke point coming up the monorail runs past here if you could bring that down Who's holding the rocket launcher? Hey, that's too much collateral damage. I'm no, not going to say down rail, it won't bring down the vehicle. We're not Wouldn't talking about we taking kill out a the lot vehicle. of people once, doing that. Once the rail comes down, it'll box them in. No, the ra- the monorail. It's the carriage itself. The inverted is that right? It's an inverted monorail, so that so it hangs it from hangs, a rail. It hangs. The concrete right, you're shooting at is basically going to be the ceiling. <laughs> Yeah, this the is people so are guys. I'm not telling you to shoot a monorail for the people. What kind of monster do you think the I am? I'm talking about the all the yeah, vehicles. Yeah, all yeah, the I was cars say, on the yeah. motorway. Highway. Yeah, that would, that would kill. <clears> you so should do it, Tane. Fire your rocket. <laughs> if you timed it, you could just li- you could just maybe hit them and maybe. Well, it depends on. Let's oh, say it's going to depend risk on the wrong is Catastrophic. <laughs> or you know, plan but it would B. stop them dead in their tracks. It's an option. You could ramp it and get on top of them. That sounds cool. Uh, I'll just say to Stitch rather than like over the carbons, literally just kind of shout as we're driving. I think that's a really bad idea. <laughs> I'm with you. Let's just uh, let's just take him out the old fashioned way. I don't want to be branded a terrorist. That's the guy they're going the wrong way down a highway. Let's just say it's lucky you don't have license plates, on, yeah, <laughs> license plates on these things. You would have already been picked up by security cameras. Cool, I got the PR covered. Um, actually, you know what? Without street rise roll, the highway police, the Night City Highway Police, um, don't really bother with this end of the highway. Um, even though it is their jurisdiction, they don't normally come out this far because they're a bit worried about gangs. Probably a good call. I going to say, given what's going on. So you don't think you're <laughs> going to get any interference? Cool, let's shoot the shit out of everything. <laughs> Until you're at the other end of this, hmm. out of this tunnel. So, with that in mind... Third roll. 
gentlemen. Oh, here we go. This time it's going to be a bit harder. 18 or more because of the additional chaos that's going on I around you. I rolled an 8, and I have... Uh, what's my score? 8, so that's 16. Hold on. Right, okay. 4 for a 14, so I'm going to use my re-roll <laughs> and try to... Uh, thanks, on Anomaly. See if I can get a little... I would need to roll a 10 to pass you got an this eight. one. So I got an 18 in total. Good man. Okay, so you're all right. You get a couple of close calls to your vehicle stitch, um, but as the bike swerves in and out, you're able to pass by quite easily. No facts. Hey, don't forget you've got luck. You can spend luck one for oh, one to increase yeah. your... Hang I on. Mean, Hang but on. It get, you get ri- but of course, that's a deplenishing stat. So. so I've got six, haven't I? Yep, you could use your so luck. I could spend two luck. Let's do it. Two luck to put me up from 16 to 18. So I like get so close that it's like with spear, okay. with leaning over, I just, my face so, is like near some tires or something. Well, like you, that. you actually <clears throat> misjudge a weave and these two vehicles that are approaching towards you are actually getting dangerously close together. And as you go through, you can literally hear the um, exhausts on the side of your bike Hmm. scratching against both sides of these cars as you pop out the other side. Tane looks at me and I'm, for a moment, dressed as the devil. (laughs) (laughs) Right. So we're now in range. Do we want to take some more shots? Roger on mute, mate. Uh, yes. Is the guy still standing on the heavy machine gun? Um, yes. I'm going to keep shooting at him then. Uh, he didn't shoot at you this turn, so... <laughs> I got a seven, so it's one less than last time, whatever that was. Uh, plus 12, 19. Okay. Uh, you hit him again, roll for damage. Uh, that is 16. Yeah, so you're, you bring up your rifle again, take a single shot, cartridge flies out. This time, the bullet tears through his left shoulder. You can see Kevlar and leather kind of tear apart, almost smoking as it hits him again, and this time he's dropped to one knee, kind of holding he's using the heavy machine gun now to kind of rest you can't tell if he's dead or just kind of like using it to lean against as he sucks in breath Uh, Tano, what do you want to do? You're a lot closer so you could take some shots with a pistol because they're about to shoot you as well Yeah, okay I'll take a couple of shots Okay uh, bear with, bear with. How target rich is my environment? Target well, there are three bikes. Um, three bikes, the half truck, and the van to shoot at. So pretty rich. Um, I would say you need fifteen or more. Is that where I try and convince one of the bike riders that his shoelace is untied, and when he looks down, he falls off his bike? Guitaran, that you're almost now getting level with their bikes. So maybe you want to jump off your bike and bundle one to the floor. So you've got your own bike. That sounds safe. <laughs> Nothing could like, possibly like, go wrong. Like, like trying to grapple a ninja robot. <laughs> <laughs> you've got form. You've I got form. form. You raise a pertinent <laughs> point. If we're that close, can I not just whack him with the missile launcher? You can use the missile launcher as a melee <laughs> weapon if you so wish. Or just point at him and fire. <laughs> 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 just goes. Doom. Every yeah, I'm going to stop this guy with a rocket launcher then. Okay. Um, how are we going to do this then? Everybody Roll. Rolling? No, there's a melee. Melee weapon? Yeah. Is there an improvised weapon skill? No. Oh, no. Yeah, so I'd say melee. 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 Uh, well, the good news is that's. Or martial arts if you've got it. I haven't. 
my my melee weapon skill is still better than my shooting skill, so let's yeah. go with that. Uh, right, I shoot. Uh, six plus seven is thirteen. Oh, that's not going to do, I'm afraid. It also nearly forgot I'm at minus two because I'm still horribly injured. So it would only be 11. It's not enough to knock him off, but it's enough for him to go, what the fuck? And he takes a massive swerve away um, to dodge you. The reason why that hot roll would have been a little harder is because you're basically aiming for the driver. At this point, while you're shooting, you're going to be kind of taking points off the vehicle stats rather than off you guys. Except so far we've been shooting at at least it takes him out of being able to shoot at us this round. Right, so they're shooting back now. Um, first of all, my bikers, they've each got pistols. So they're pulling out the pistols and trying to shoot you and drive with one hand. Let's see if they I'm, have any... I'm trying to evade them as they, once I see them start to pull their pistols. And I will try and drive on the other side of civilian vehicles. Um, Activate Operation Human Shield. <laughs> yes, absolutely. So that's one hit <clears throat> on Stitch. My evasion threshold is 22. Yeah. Oh. So let's... Hold on. One hit. Lead not a lot of damage though. Nine damage. Did he? Did he beat a twenty-two? He did. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. I got ten. All right. Is that on the pilot or the bike? That's on the bike. Oh, on the bike. Okay. Bike's fine. So you've got road bike. You've got thirty-five. Thirty-five. Yep. SDP. Um, Structural so, damage yeah. points. Yes. Does it count as having armor or anything like that? No. Had a little palladium flashback, flashback there. <laughs> SDC. Okay. <clears throat> um, so that was the two bikers. Right. The gunner on top of the van pulls out his rifle. It's a sniper rifle. Um, so he's taking a shot. He, this one will be an aim shot at a driver rather than this has got a minus eight to hit. <laughs> yeah, he's way too close for it. That's a no. I just rolled four tens. <laughs> <laughs> That's a no. Um, the van pulls up in front of you two. The back door's open. And two guys with uh, compact assault rifles with underslung grenade launchers. <clears throat> nice. Uh, kind of got a sort of um, aliens vibe to them, these things. Um, let rip. I want one. Let rip. Uh, so this is at both bikes. Do you want to carry over my evasion roll or do you want me to roll it again? I'll carry over your evasion roll. Okay. Um, so that's going to hit um, Tane and Lofax. What do you need to have an evasion roll? Sorry, what's you have to have a reflex of nine or more in excess it? of eight. Oh. Eight. Okay, no. I'm like ah, like Stitch's bike's gone. I'm like, or nine, fuck? Yeah, <laughs> nine, nine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> so this is the underslung grenade launcher. Oh, okay. One shot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 16 points of damage. So your vehicle has your vehicle's got 35 points, so it's taken 16 Does points. Does it have damage. any armor or anything? Uh, no. It's just hit points. Basically just got yeah. some hit points. It's just got a load of hit points. Okay, we're down to 19. Um... 
We need that bit. Not for long, don't worry. You're a little bit cooked, but you're okay. Chuck a flashbang in that fucking van. <laughs> New rounds. What do you want to do? Drivers, you don't have to... I want to drive yeah, cl- no, into actually, the cl- back of the van. Like, yeah. The stitch is gunning it right for the back of the van. Okay, so... Both of you make drive rolls. Can yeah, I? Oh, you know, hold on, I'm gonna. Can I put the f- brakes on so hard, right? The the front it tips up forward and Tane shoots off the back <laughs> into the van. Yeah. Like, <laughs> boom. I mean, as long as he's on board with it and he knows. No, I'm just gonna pull his arms off and ha- <laughs> <laughs> slam the brakes. Up. Right. No, no, I just want to drive like into the into the van, like. We can just both jump in the back. That whole wheelie thing where your front wheel comes down and starts. Ex- yeah. Like in Indiana Jones. That's the whole plan. We're just gonna get side in. by side, drive the bikes right to the back of the van, and yeah. the four of us are going to leap in superhero style. Exactly. And, and exactly. Die. <laughs> okay, hold on. Now, hopefully, the, the wheel will end up on the guy's face. Like, you get a quick shot of, like. All right, it's. It's not going to be easy, gents, because they're moving. You're moving. Um, they did just move towards us. It did move towards you, but it so swerved. It kind slowed, of in front of you. Yeah, but it may have you're slowed just... down a little bit. You see, to do that and hold position. They don't think, hey, no one's foolish enough to just drive. Just <laughs> fire the grappling hook. Sixteen or more. Which button is that? Sixteen. Wait, or more. do you not have those on bikes? 16 or more, but after the roll, minus two because it's a complex task. I need to roll a 10. No worries. I got a 19. So that makes it a 17. I rolled a 10. I rolled a 10. (laughs) I'm not shouting too loud because I might wake the kids up, but I got a 10. Fucking hell. Cool, cool. And a five. Fifteen minus two, thirteen, plus eight, twenty one. Fantastic. Oh. Stitch. Uh I rolled a I I got a uh, eighteen. I have to so, minus two. Pulling up alongside each other. Rock music going off in the yeah. background. Yeah, man. Under a hail of bullets and grenade and grenades, the two bikes accelerate. You put your foot down. Jerk the throttle, thrust towards the um, the open hatched fan of behind, in front of you. Your bikes charge towards it, corralling it. It's very British military, you. isn't it? They'll never expect us to march slowly towards them wearing red <laughs> clothes. <Yes. clears throat> um, vehicles still flying past you. Um, the rubber of your front tyres almost is like centimeters away from the bump rear bumpers of these vans so you are basically on top of them what do you want to do stitch jumps into the van jump into the van i will give the guys on the back the first action because you guys have fair enough so what do you two want to do uh if stitch is going to jump into the van (laughs) i'm going to jump into the driver's seat as soon as he does nice okay yeah yeah tane (laughs) Well, he told me to throw a grenade into the van, so I'm going to throw a grenade <laughs> into the van. No, I'll get, get in the fucking <laughs> van. I'm sure I'll get in. Go on, throw your grenade. Actually, oh I'm, flashbang. I'm, I'm flashbang. immune to flashbangs, so it's all right. What do we throw flashbangs on? <laughs> but but I'm not. We're yeah. going to go down. <laughs> shut your eyes. Shut your eyes. What do I need I mean, to do to, really to really throw it's... a flashbang? <laughs> I mean, if we see him throw Well, you know we're about to jump in the van, so maybe don't throw the flashbang. Or they brought you in closer for the gr- for, to throw the grenade. <laughs> yeah, to be fair, no one told us the plan to do yeah. I pro- I'm probably screaming, I'm jumping in there to fuck them fuckers up. <laughs> flashbang would blind the two. It would blind yeah, You're Stitch. immune to flashbangs. It would I'm blind also immune not. to flashbangs. I'm not immune to them at all. Stitch isn't. That, that is a problem. Our combat person is not immune to flashbangs. He's not a combat person. That's our nurse. I think he's both. Well, in the absence of our solo, 
I think our med tech yeah. who's put his gun skills up quite high is probably yeah. our best. I, I built him to be a uh, part of a, you know, very well if, part of a trauma team. So if it is clear that they're going to jump into the van, then throwing a flashbang would be rather <laughs> premature. It would be hysterical, though. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I the hole. guess I'd better stand ready to get hold of the bike controls when he does so, because otherwise it's going to be flailing off back there and exploding. Okay. Seems really harsh. <laughs> so the two. Unless we could all jump at the same time. Let's or all jump at the same the time. Into it, the van. It's like the bit with the rock and Samuel L. Jackson in the other guys, where they Don't jump they off that jump building. To their deaths. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Aim Let's for the go. Bushes. <laughs> and the bikes just go like that, and we just. Can't I'll, I'll allow that. You can all jump at the same time because right. the road to get close to them. Can we ride the bikes into the van? You want me to jump, don't you? <laughs> no, you can do whatever you want. There's, Grab the bike if you want. When I, I can when either I... take over the bike when he's gone, in which case I'm going to lose them because I can't ride it anywhere near as well as the rest of them, or I could try and jump into the van where my observational skills might actually be useful. So let's go with that. Let's jump into the van. Got observation skills. I will make my roll. Thank F. I have not used my reroll yet. I'm sure your athletics is really high, so we'll be okay. <laughs> <laughs> I rolled a one control. on that dice, so I am going to use that reroll. Oh, Jesus. A one. Use your luck points. Use your luck points. I don't need to use the luck points because on that one I rolled a ten. Nice. Oh, fantastic. And cool, a nine. Cool. Typical. Could have rolled that the first time around, so that's 19 plus 7, 26. Right. Tane. I'm taking off the two from my skill, so it's still 26. Tane stands up on the moving bike behind Lofax, his coat flapping in the airflow. You almost you kind of have your arms outstretched like a tightrope walker. And I then, am selling this image to the dream thieves. <laughs> you use Lofax you, as a springboard, so your foot comes up up on the shoulder. <sighs> you push off him. You somersault in, hit the metal of the van, and come up behind the two guys with machine guns. Convenient. This Scream, this is Night City, and kick one out. <laughs> it's what you do. Sorry, not Stitch. I apologise. Switch. I'm uh, getting ready to take control of the bike. Okay. So, Stitch and Lofax. Athletics roll, please. Don't fail. First time ever you see Stitch smile as he jumps. <laughs> <laughs> He's finally having fun. <laughs> no, I, I think I'm. All, I think I'm probably okay. I get a eight on the die for a twenty in total. Good. Okay, so you manage to not sort of stand up, but you you have your front knee. You have your left knee kneeling into the seat. You use the handlebar on your left to kind of pull up, and then you're able to push away, and you leap in. With your hands hitting the metal first, metal fall first, and you sort of do a flip forward to be standing up. No facts. Where are we in relation to the half truck? Um, bit of a. Is it ahead of us or is it behind us? Oh, it's ahead of you. Okay. I think we're ahead of you a bit to the, to the right. Okay. Um. And the bikes are in between you and the... Well, one of the bikes are between you and the truck. Can I just, like, just crash the bike into the thing and fall off? <laughs> I'll try an athletics <laughs> roll. It's not really going to work. It's not really going to work. Just tell you athletic roll. But here we go. You here might we... fall off the bike. Here we go. Here we go. Still have some luck left, right? <laughs> mm, I got a... Uh, what's my athletics? Well, I rolled a five, and my athletics is seven, so I got twelve. Uh, I've got four points of luck, though. Would sixteen see me over the line? 
Aim for the bushes, Pete. Okay. <laughs> okay. So you're falling off. Can I just be hanging on the? If I spend all my luck, can I just be hanging on the back of the truck? Hey, back back of the van. Hey, oh, Yeah, all right. So, in a get ready to jump, and unfortunately, your night city um, highway maintenance is not what it used to be since the first fourth corporate war. Tell me about it. There's not been a lot of money spent on maintaining the roads, so unfortunately, your bike hits a pothole just as you're about to make your jump, and it wobbles like this. <laughs> and basically falls out beneath you as you're about to jump, jump away. And you manage to grab back of the lorry, back of, back of the van, in a sort of Indiana Jones-esque kind of way. Exactly. exactly. Holding on for dear life. You are going to take some damage from that. That's fine. I, I'm um, fully expecting damage. I just didn't want to die. Basically, <laughs> this solid black tarmac starts rubbing against your face and chest. <laughs> Well, I'll more try and, chest and lower legs. I keep, my, I keep my face off the. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think it's more know, sort of like lower I'm legs. Too pretty to be. Uh... <laughs> but your armor will absorb this. So. Oh no, some cool damage. God, I rolled a double six. Oh um, no, critical. <laughs> 12, 13 points of damage. Okay, so I've got nine armor, yeah? So I yeah. take four points of damage and my armor yeah. goes down to eight. And a critical. Do you want to roll on a critical? Yeah, why not? How do I do that? Two D two D six. And what am I not? What am I wanting? You want low? Something low. <laughs> Is this like a add them together or a D sixty six table? Please. Okay. Right. Let's have a look. Double six. I bounce my skull off the tarmac <laughs> and I'm dead. Eight. Eight. Oh, eight. Broken oh, leg. Way. Oh, God. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Jumped yeah. Off so like at high you're speed. at minus four, minus four to your move, and uh, there's no minus two actions actually. Mm -hmm. uh, so what? Basically, you manage to wrap your legs, wrap your legs, wrap your arms around the tar, around around the sort of uh, bumper Over. of this uh, of this fan. Mm -hmm. But one of your legs kind of hit the tarmac at the wrong angle and there's a very unsatisfying wet twist so your <laughs> wet twist lovely ankle to knee joint Ugh. basically does a 360 <laughs> and the muscle tears it's done uh, a Michael Owen the knee swells up and your foot is now facing the wrong way Oh, mate, that's going to oh, need replacing. Stitch, not Stitch just yells out. He's like, I'll give you a discount on that repair if we get out of this. <laughs> right. Uh, the bike I'll is toast. I'll take it. <laughs> uh, I'm afraid to say the bike is toast. Uh, actually, let's see if the bike goes into one of the other bikes. Hold on. Re uh, Pete, roll a D10 for me. Tell me what you get. I was got to go into some, um, just some arsehole who was looking at his window trying to shoot at me. And the bike just goes under his wheels, and the car like Explodes, five because it's now five. a Michael Bay yeah. film. <laughs> <laughs> the bike, um, the front front wheel of the bike and the um, handlebars kind of twist, locking the wheels. It backflips its seat, pointing towards the ceiling, and then bounces on its front wheel, and then hits the windscreen of an oncoming car. Um, the car swerves, gets hit by another car, and then all around you, cars start crashing. <coughs> They'll pile up, yeah. Suddenly a Michael Bay movie. <laughs> <laughs> all of the pile-up cars explode. <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and the fireball zooms down the right. tunnel towards We're us. We're kind of <laughs> in to proper sort of combat-y kind of stuff now. So let's do initiatives, please. Ow! Uh, so initiative is reflex plus d10. D10, isn't it? yes, please. Yep. Oh, Ooh, I got a oh, 10. So where's my pencil gone? And an 8. Had it. 18. 8 plus 5. Uh, 14 13. for me. 11. Hold on. Oh, I fell on my chair. 
Right, yes. Tarno, what you got for me? I got 13. Uh, Witch, what have you got for me? Uh, 14. Uh, Stitch, what you got for me? 26. Bleeding more. Uh, low facts, what you got for me? 11. Okay. Uh, I like to back everyone up, let, see let what else is going on before I take my move. <laughs> uh, um, oh, actually. Yeah, so it's going to go... Stitch... Switch. Glitch, bitch. Snitch. Oh, no. Snitch. Sorry, snitch. Yeah. Thugs. Then low facts. Okay. So. Stitch. So, uh, take my move action to uh, pull up my Militech Bulldog shotgun on my combat sling. At point black range, pointed at the back of one of these guys on one of these uh, rifles, and uh, pull the trigger. Make a roll. You are basically point blank, so I think it's a that's gonna be pretty good for, for a shotgun or fifteen for a shotgun. Hold on, let me have a look. This is where it's really handy that I'm actually really low, hanging out the back of the van, because then I don't take the shotgun 30 what he doesn't know though is he's also now a perfect route for the bike okay my my <laughs> base for shoulder my base for shoulder arms is 15 so you and can't i got fail. a 7 on the die for a 22 fantastic assuming that he stays holding on after this guy bounces off him onto the road <laughs> well, that's got five, a cybernetic six. arm 6 a 6 so that's a crit Two ones to offset that, so that's 12, 14, and a 5 for 19 points of damage, but a crit as well. So Hitley is still alive, but let's see a crit, 2d6, please. 11. Ooh. <laughs> Crushed fingers. Um... Puts his hand no! up. <laughs> yeah, yeah no, I like it, Tade, I like it. So you basically spin around cock your shotgun, pull over and almost in surprise he goes uh, pulls up his gun and his hands in front of him and these, this shotgun shell just bursts in front of him, tearing his fingers up and the gun up I'm afraid um, the shotgun shell hits the gun but he he drops it and his fingers are still wrapped around the gun the peppered gun as it falls to the floor and he's kind of looking at his hands going ah it's a spurting nice. blood and uh, as his free action stitch goes jump out and roll and then come see me at my clinic I can fix all this shit up <laughs> genuinely looks like he's thinking about it <laughs> could you have some scary moment? if he looks down at me I'll say can you give me a hand <laughs> <laughs> boom boom um so next was switch. So oh, I want to ride the motorbike into the van, ramming the other bloke. Are you using Lofax as a ramp? No, I was going to. It would be basically... it would be easier for you to. I'm use, not deliberately to trying Lofax to kill Lofax. As a ramp. So. I don't think I'll serve actually very well as a ramp. <laughs> I mean, I've heard of throwing someone under a bus, but. Using someone as a ramp to drive into the back of a van. Yeah, Roger, try not to kill me as you drive into the back of the small van that I'm hanging out the back of. It's all right. It must be a reasonably sized van to have two people stood side by side. It is, so. yeah. Um... <laughs> so yeah. Basically, gun it, wheelie, and get You're not the on bike a push in. bike, you know. <laughs> okay. Hey, I know how this bike works. I worked on it a lot. It is a. I'm just going to roll and hope. <laughs> <laughs> I've got to re-roll for a reason. It's technically higher than you. But you oh. Okay, so it's a sort of an emergency stop. So I'll say 13 or more. However, it's a difficult action. Like so... 15 or more. No, no, no. So it comes off your roll. So complex task. Minus 2 to your roll. 13 more. When you roll it, take away 2. I believe. Uh, that's not going to do it. I'm going to use my re-roll. Cool. I don't think a 2 is going to cut it. Uh, nine plus my reflex of six, fifteen Ooh. minus two, thirteen. Ooh. So he's done it. Okay. 
So, as you... I wasn't aiming for low facts, Nick Mara. So you you bring the bike. <laughs> basically, you have to kind of you have to do a wheelie. You pull yeah. up the handlebars, the the grips like that, and there's a you rev the engine, and for a moment the bike is just sitting on its rear wheel. And then you bring it forward, and the front of the bike lands on the other bloke on on the on the bloke, um, <laughs> kind of throwing him aside. Because that's who I was aiming for. Um, let's say it'll probably do. Are you trying to get the whole bike into the van? Yes. Okay. So he might be getting rammed against the inside of the van. So the back it's of the van, van. <laughs> back of the van is sealed off to the um, driving driver seat and the passenger seat. Um, you can get a motorbike bike in a transit. You do, but it is also and quite five crowded. people. Now, now that you get in it, it's also loaded with all the stuff that you needed. So this Good bike point. comes in. The back front wheel hits the guy. He kind of falls onto the bike into you. So his face is like that against yours momentarily, and there's a look of sheer panic on his face as you go, "What the hell just happened?" Hey, you this then, is my credits, damn it. The back, the back wheel then hits the bumper as well. Lofax has to go hold on a little bit tighter as the bumper shakes violently. The bike then rears up, and you both go into the back against a pile of um, boxes and... Um, Two men carrying a glass pane. <laughs> hey, be uh, careful. That's our payday back there. Crates. Like a box is full of Crates. chicken. Watch out for bank. the watermelons. Um, and you both... No, so he tumbles, but you've got to cut the engine. Yeah, yeah. And oh, you're yeah, kind I of like... There, to make room, you've had to lock the bike like that so that it's flat. Doosh. And he's hit the ground. So he doesn't get an action. The other guy's had his fingers blown off. I'm going to roll oh, for the guy who had his fingers rolled off. Hold on. When I before them? Uh, you were, yeah. So Sorry, my bad, Tarno. It's um, okay. There's a bloke on the floor. No, I'm going to shout man overboard and go and rescue Lofax. You fucking star. Right up at sea, mate. That's what you do. I always like to. You. <laughs> okay, what do you want to do? You're going to try and rescue uh, Lofax. I want an athletics roll, please, unless you can... Lofax make... is genuinely surprised. Not because he didn't think you would, but he just didn't think anyone would come and save him. <laughs> <laughs> and he looks up at you with like a look of like, oh, what in his eyes of like, life? I've got a friend. Okay, that's uh, 15, 16, 17, 15 when you take away the minus two. Okay. But I'm not trying to be particularly gentle about it. I'm literally doing like a pulling no, over the side you of the boat. Hook kind of thing. Your arm under his shoulder, his robot hand comes around and um, his robot arm and hand come around and kind of hold onto your back and you pull him up like that. As you're pulling Lofax in, the other guy with no fingers jumps out. <laughs> Our man. And, rolls and, laugh, and you see him kind of oh mate I didn't even get to do the line the thanks Tony however the no two worries, bikes mate. and the truck um, come around to shoot at you all because you're now in this very confined space let me shut the back door it's still the same round <laughs> It's my go. No, no, no. <laughs> You're at the end of the turn, aren't you? Um, so yeah, I'll be like, oh, finally, I'm not dangling in the road. I'm not about to die. I turn around, and, and there's, there's everyone the lined up, going. So they're going to take. Um, we're going to take a couple of shots with the guys on the bike. Um, they're more harder because they're they're basically shooting at you from the hip, as it were. That is a one. Um, well, that might, yep. Unless it's Stitch, 
which it isn't. That is going to be Tane. As he, as he pulls Lofax up, he gets shot in the forehead. Oh, that's that's rough. Twelve points of damage. Rough day. <laughs> well, twelve I, points of damage. I moved Tom. him in front. I'm really sorry, but yeah, basically, <laughs> your good faith. You go, you pull him up, and as you pull him up. So it's twelve Mike. points of damage. I've got SP seven, which yep. means I take five. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And your armor goes down to six. Yep. All right. It's not the only thing that goes down to six. Are you in the dirt? Ooh. No. I got six hit points left. I'm fine. <laughs> uh, yeah. So basically, for your, That's you're loads. basically hum for one of the most generous acts of kindness that we've seen in this campaign. You get shot. Still tougher than the level one wizard. <laughs> um, and finally, the sniper rifle on the back of the. Um, uh, oh no! Wait. He's on the roof. That's He's on, on the, the roof. roof. Yeah. Good point. I'm going to make it. <laughs> yeah, I am that me. Okay, so. <laughs> he's going to chuck a grenade in the back. He's of chucking his a hand. grenade. Oh, you son of a bitch. So he's from, mm. You see a head poke out um, like over the rim, and then there's a. I was going to say, fuck grenade. you. This <laughs> grenade. You see his arm and his hand go in, and there's a ding. Ding, 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 as this grenade basically rolls into this small, confined space where uh, you... He does realise that would shred him as well, right? He's on top of the roof, yeah? Yeah, uh, roofs are made of aluminium. That's you're absolutely gonna right, it probably him. will. It probably will. <laughs> it's armour-plated. <laughs> but you've got all the stuff. You're not allowed the stuff. The stuff is really incriminating. Maybe Best Lofax could the catch stuff the grenade and, and throw it back it. out again. Can I do that? Well, it is your round. No, you can't. Damn. However, can I pick it up and throw it? Uh, no, but I will Come give by. you the opportunity to escape from the vehicle. Is another vehicle close enough for me to jump onto it? Yes, there's plenty of. Yeah, you you caused a massive pile up. You can jump onto one of those if you want. This is not even moving, so it'll be easier, and you won't get a grenade in the face. <laughs> you will do one of these numbers. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not. I've got a broken leg. I'm not really in the mood for jumping out of the back of a truck. Um, uh, throw yourself on the grenade. Save I'm the gonna. Rest of I'm gonna throw myself Hang onto the side of the, the over the motorcycle. In, use the motorcycle as cover. Use the motorcycle I mean, as cover. I could be quite hard on. I kind of squished against the wall at the back. With yeah, well, I'm just yeah, gonna jump got, against that side. Side. Jumping, I'm just gonna so jump. You're jumping next to me. Yeah. No, you, you're jumping onto the other side of him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're basically using um, switch and the bike's cover. Not switch. That's not intentional. That's just you know accidental. So it's, basically, I'm using, using the, the switch motorcycle. And the bike's cover. This using vehicle, the bike's bike cover. Going to blow the hell up. Um, how do we do grenades? I don't actually know how grenades work once they've been thrown. Do you? They. Fizzle out. And it's a small plume <laughs> it turns of smoke. Out it's a dud. It's a smoke grenade. Is is there a moment to like kick it out of the back? It's a party grenade and it explodes. I'm not really in confetti. the mood for kicking anything, though, am I? No, not with a with a broken. See, this is what I'm thinking with the broken leg. Can um, I pull a pin out of my flash grenade, throw it out the back, <laughs> and then put the pin in the grenade in the back of the van? Love it. If you want to. It's not going to be easy, but I'll allow it because yeah. that's so much ballsy. I'm going to try that. If anyone in chat wants to give me a reroll, it would be the right time to do it. I've I'll got zero it. luck. All right, okay, so what I want is... Oh, let's find some... I don't know what role we're going to use for this one. Hold on. It's got to be athletics. Or tech, it? I would have thought. Oh, yeah, yeah it's like a fine motor kind of thing. You know, I've yeah. got weapons tech. It does actually sound like a weapons tech role, to be fair. Okay, so... That's what I'm hoping it is. I mean, logically, it would be. Yeah, you're trying I'm, to yeah effectively I agree. Disarm a grenade. Um, I got a reroll. Always happens to low facts. You can't poo. put a pin back in a grenade because if they've thrown it, then the handle will have gone and the trigger it's, will have gone. I mean, it really so putting a pin in will do nothing. It depends. It depends on the GM. It depends on the 
depends on. We the get a lot out. Uh, so what are you gonna, so you pull the where are you throwing the flashbang? Oh, just let it go out the back of the van. We're still moving, aren't we? So it's gonna yeah. like like slightly to the side, so it doesn't blind everyone in the van. But I'm not using it offensively that guy against that anyone. Rolled out a minute ago. <clears throat> Right. I want you to, to hey stop. buddy <laughs> I want you to down at his to mangled hands and then accidentally catches a flashback yeah I'm fine <laughs> right heroic this is a highly skilled feat one that only the best of the best can pull off this is a level of sports stars and, and other highly regarded superstars so this is pretty heroic act so I want 21 or more Ooh, and, hey just look at it this way if you fail the grenade's just going to blow up in your hand anyway. So you Yeah, know, and the good thing yeah. is if I fail, off. then I'll protect you guys. So, yeah. you know. It's only 66 damage. You can take it. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> I might be able to take that if you roll low. I've got 27 hit points. Here we go. Here 66. we go. 66. 10. I need to point a camera at this. I'm not, I haven't touched it. I, I believe just, you. I believe you. I'm going to take a picture. <laughs> He's taking a picture of the D10 he's just permanently got on the 10 side. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, it's so. a 10. It is a 10. I rolled a 10 and a 1. <laughs> so in a, all so right, 11 so and do. that's 23. So you see the, the head poke out. You see the arm come down and the grenade being thrown in. In a sort of MacGyver kind of way, you take out your flashbang pull the pin out with your teeth, throw it out the window, grab the other one in, in mid-air, mid -air, use your free hand, pull your, the pin out from, from your teeth, stick it in. To be safe, you then throw the grenade out as well. Because I'll be honest with you, there's no guarantee that it, it's going to work. True. So you're going to want true. it out. Yep. Um, and the grenade goes out to the distance and doesn't explode. The flashbang did explode, though. Um... I might then collapse on the floor. There's still another guy in here, remember? Yeah, but more for effect than anything. I'm just like... Oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You know. um, the flashbang explodes. Oh, you're probably causing more car crash. In a giant <laughs> fireball, because remember Michael Bay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the flashbang spins off onto the highway. The vehicles that have been going past you have had to slow down because of the pile-up that's now developed in front of in front of them, but behind you. The flashbang bounces into the pile-up, comes back towards the oncoming traffic and goes... And for a moment, that's, there's that whirring, screeching sound in your ears and that blinding light. You're not really affected by it because you're moving away from it and you're shielded by the vehicle. But it's there, and you see it, this kind of phosphorescent light. And you hear more screeching of tyres. And more crash. And more bangs. Yeah, it's a good job we didn't bring down that small, un <laughs> uh, unmanned piece of concrete. That could have been dangerous. I know, you took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> my um, bad. And then you hear screaming. <laughs> Uh, it's like the bit in the it was in where tent. they start whacking the, the, the pipes. And then shut, the doors, the and shut the doors! Shut the doors! And then the doors get slammed shut, and it's a new round. And um, you're left there with this one guy who's kind of fallen to the side of the bike. He's conscious and he's getting himself up, but he's still holding the big nasty machine gun. Um. That's probably not the smartest thing he could do, given that everybody gets to go before him, pretty much. Especially angry man with a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> right. What do you want to do? So, uh, Stitch pivots, points the shotgun at him, point blank range, and, and of course fires. But as he's doing it, he gives a, a little nod to Lofax, and he says, my name's Jericho, by the way. <laughs> and then he pulls the trigger. Aww! <laughs> He was duly impressed by that. <laughs> Just like I'm, I'm standing the there shocked for a guy. moment. Like, Tarde, that is absolutely going to boost your ratings. You've got a story of respect and friendship through combat and um, 
And once I finish I editing it so that the um, truth speakers are the ones who were throwing grenades into traffic. Thank God, yes. I got a nine on the <laughs> die for a 24. <laughs> Do I, even need to make, I don't think I even need to make you roll to hit a bless you because... He's pate. <laughs> <laughs> he's, in, he's in he's in a bit of trouble. So uh, two sixes. So that's another crit. Two fives and a four. So oh, oh fucking hell. Oh, it's gonna feel that. 12, that is gonna 22, <laughs> 26 damage and uh only a, a six on the crit though. I mean it'll be alright once it scabs over. Be fine, you can walk it off. Uh, six on the crit is broken arm. Uh, the broken arm cannot be used. You drop any items in that arm it's and it lands on you. Yeah. <laughs> so, you bring your shotgun up. Just blow it Live off. low first <laughs> or not. And this scatter shot buries into his chest. Flesh, um, body armor, Kevlar, clothes just burn away and you hear that you get that kind of smoky um Bacon. barbecue smell of burnt meat and mm. that smell of um gunpowder chemical um cordite kind of yeah put this on cordite and yeah the, the shot hits his arm and you see the wrist bone splinter and snap out as the flesh around it kind of gets pulled away so it, the the, the the skin is hanging off his arm as the bone is snapped and pokes out. And he basically balls over, holding his intestines in with a broken arm and falls to the floor, um, bleeding to death. If it's not it's already just whispers. I can, uh, I can fix that if you can hold out long enough. He's already dead. <laughs> ah, damn. Another uh, customer lost. Right, so. Am I not getting so much blood on the evidence? Hey, somebody, somebody shoot up through the roof and kill that sniper. We will so. look at Switch. <laughs> <laughs> that evidence is already covered in blood, Tane. Yeah, but that was metaphorical blood. This is like actual blood. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, It's in boxes. The boxes are covered in blood. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, so I will scoop up the fallen carbine mm. and just start putting shots into the roof where I okay. estimate the guy that the is. guy might be. Yeah, listening basically I'm listening out for where I think he is and just firing up into the roof. you it's difficult to tell if you've hit him or not because the carbine makes an awful loud noise in this confined area. Yeah, I, I expected uh, that, but I'm just trying to But two quick things listen. happen. Yeah. Two things happen. Everyone make an athletics roll. I'm assuming I get a minus four to that. No. All right. Not even with a break. <laughs> that's minus Ready four move. Oh, oh, wow. Uh, it's the night of tens tonight. Uh, 11. 16. Uh, 11, 16, okay. 20. Uh, six on the die for an 18. Okay. I so the 16 and the 11... You guys, after you unload half a clip um, into the ceiling, and there's smoke and fumes, the van shape moves violently because they know you're here now. Mm -hmm. So they're trying to get you off your feet. And the vehicle kind of sways heavily from side to side. Boxes fly from fly over your head, and next year bump into you and knock you down and trip you up. Then they're heavy machine gun fire starts coming through the door as they unload onto your position <laughs> but they're firing through the heavy metal doors so you can you hear the the heavy fire hit the doors you see these massive dents one or two holes but they've gone over your head but next time it's going to penetrate that door and it's going to blow you away what do you want to do Shoot the driver? There's a wall between you and the driver and the passenger seat. How big a wall? Well, he's a guy with the heavy oh, machine gun, surely. I'll just hold up the rocket launcher. Brilliant. What do you want to do with it? 
I'm holding it up. I don't know if anybody. I'll take, take it, it off you. Me. I'll take it off you. Okay. And I'll hop to the back door. Open that fucking door. <laughs> Stitch, Stitch just turns and says, "No facts. You do realize that the back blast of that will kill all of us and destroy all of this evidence, right? How, how about I put it up against the the wall then? <laughs> that, that'll 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 still kill all of us. <laughs> <laughs> okay, look, I'll get up on the roof. I like this plan. Someone open the doors. I'm going to jump up on the roof. Is there a little turret hole to go up through? Is there a metal? No, no. He's just like, he was like had a little, like a little bed position. Yeah, like, with yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. And you still don't wall. know if he's alive or not. Yeah, but look, what else are we going to fucking do? <laughs> you know, is there anything I could idea. surf like, out the back of the car? The bike? Uh, I'm still kind of on it. Well, if Tane opens the doors, we could both go onto the roof. I could deal with the sniper, and you could shoot the guy in the. I'll shimmy over to the door and. Okay, mm -hmm. the door opens wide to basically show one cyclist and the um, half truck. Is it the same thing that to I was shooting before? No. Right. So who wants to climb to the roof? So, hold on. Are we still in initiative order no, here? Or? No, switch. Tane, what do you want to do? Okay. Um, I was opening the door, so what yes. I wanted to do was open the door and then catch a nice shot of the driver of the truck and just shout, Hey, mate, you're on TV. <laughs> uh, I'm going to shoot the guy aiming the heavy machine gun at us. I think it's probably my plan. Okay. Uh, the plan is to actually intimidate him a little bit by thinking that he's going to be caught on camera. I'll accept Throw him that. off his game a little bit. So, I will um, make, hold on. Persuasion? Um, That's the closest I've got to intimidation, I think. Is there an intimidation? I don't think there is. There's interrogation and there's persuasion. I'll go with persuasion. Splendid. <laughs> uh, and then I'm... 17, 18, 19, 17. Get inside his mind. It's where the real battle's for. Yeah, he ducks his head. And kind of tries to pull his berry like that while he's still trying to drive. I'll make it difficult. Yeah. So... First of all, switch, take a shot at the driver. It's going to be harder for you with the assault uh, rifle. Does the sure, make it easier? Uh, oh, yeah. Okay. Um, what would a carbine come under? I mean, it would surely be a, just an assault Solar rifle arms, with lower it? range. No, hmm. it'd still be shoulder arms. Okay. Shoulder fire. It's a, um, it's a shorter assault rifle. Well, so for now, I'll be and say 16 rather than 17. Okay, well, I rolled a 9, so that's probably going to do it, because I add 12 to that. Okay. And I'm assuming the damage is just the same, because it's just the same gun with shorter. Um, let's throw an extra d6 on it for now. Wow, okay. Nice. Nine plus... Ooh, another 6. Uh, <laughs> Fifteen, nineteen, uh, twenty-two, twenty-two damage and a crit. Okay. And the crit. Hey, finally I roll a ten. Crits on two d six. Ah, oh, damn it! <laughs> All right, let's hope. Ah. Oh. Uh, still a 10 T5s Spinal injury Oh same thing again Yeah So I do like okay. shooting people in the spine apparently Your sort of Carbine assault rifle Steams off A couple of rounds Well <coughs> Burst fire <coughs> It's the windscreen of this um, car 
The Witch Queen, however, does seem to be some ha have some sort of strength to it because it doesn't shatter immediately under the fire, and it does seem to absorb some of some of the firepower. The glass then does shatter, and a huge chunk of Oh, disappeared then. Huge <laughs> chunk of glass basically hits him in the throat. Oh. Goes in so deep it's hit the spinal cord. Um, scratching nastily at the back of his bone. Blood spurts out. It would have hit the windscreen, but there's no windscreen there anymore. <laughs> um, so it just sprays toward outwards. But he's still. So now he's got one hand on his throat like that. One hand on the wheel. Oh no, I shot the guy with the heavy machine gun. Not the oh, guy. sorry. Oh. Well, let's scratch all that then. Um, I was wondering why I was shooting through a windshield. Sorry, screen. I thought you were shooting the driver. Uh, I thought you were shooting through the windshield all the way through to the back. <laughs> and I'm, through I'm, that little window at the yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Just to hit him in the cross. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't say which end of the spine. So the glass shatters. <laughs> goes through the other window, the chunk of glass comes flying out and goes into his crotch. <laughs> Even better. You go, ah! <laughs> Did you get that, Tony? Blood leaking <laughs> out from between his fingers Mate, as he I tries to hold. I am that right now. That's going in the outtakes. <laughs> okay. Uh, Stitch and Lofax, what do you want to do? Haul my shattered body up onto the roof, slightly Stitch behind please. Stitch, because Stitch is going to go and. Oh no! Actually, I tell you what, I'm going to go up first, and be so like, if you fall to your death, Stitch can grab you. No, no, no! So I can distract the guy, and he'll be like, Ugh! and then Stitch can come up and go. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, I use my move action to get on the top, and yeah. after, after. Well, I want some fast. athletic shots, please, both of you. Oh. Oh. Oh, not bad. Uh, 15. Yep, five on the die for a 17. <clears throat> okay. You both get up there. Um, he's not there. There's no one there. So it does look like that the um, switch actually managed to get him. Um, okay. But it does mean now that the other, the bike that was there is going to take a shot at you two as you were climbing up. This is a harder roll. And he's not going to hit anything, so stitch above your head, there's a... As the metal above your head kind of gets filled and riddled with bullet holes. You climb up onto the top. Right, back round to Tane. Tane, you got a shitload of stuff here. Do you want to start rummaging through for incriminating evidence, or... Do you want to While kind of... we're moving and there's still a truck up our ass and a guy on a bike chasing us. No, I'm going to flashbang the guy on the bike. Okay, cool. Or the heavy machine gun? Well, the heavy machine gun guy is already dying. He's been shot in the crotch. He's been punched in the chest. He's a ruined... Oh, it was a different guy. Oh, different guy. I thought it was the same guy. No, different guy. In which case I will flashbang him because he's the greater threat. Okay, make a roll. We'll flashbang his driver. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. Flashbang. Yeah, because the windshield's yeah, flash... got a hole in it, so just chuck yeah. it in. Flashbang. Um... The driver. Through the hole in the window. Nice. Athletics roll for grenades? Thread the needle. Or is there a stitch? Is there another roll for that? It's, 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 it's athletics, roll. I think. It's the what roll? Oh, throw. Athletics, yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. Dex plus athletics plus a D10. Um, that's 17 minus 2 is 15. And it goes off the same range increments as you get with a grenade launcher. Okay. So you float the flashbang. It spins, gets through the hole in the glass, lands in the guy's lap, oh. and then goes <laughs> in his face. Oh, I that's going to burn the, the crotch. <laughs> they both got shitty crotches. <laughs> the I'm going to make a roll. Hold on. You have to stop these guys breeding. I think this truck's got to do that. a flip and explode, hasn't it? <laughs> well, that's where I'm going with it. <laughs> if we're Michael yeah, Bay so... in this, that's inevitably what happens. <laughs> he, he loses control of the vehicle. 
it skids. Does it hit one of the motorbikes? No, it hits you. Oh. oh. So it kind of <clears throat> does a skid forward, hits the back of your van. Um, it then it's, hits you, trips on its wheel, and then flips again. Out, you know, crashes into other vehicles, but Mushroom your van car. has taken a massive shake. Everyone needs to take an athletic shot to stay on the vehicle. This is how this I die. Be, this could be bad for a lot this of is how, This is how I die. Four. We got bumped. So, I fell off. <laughs> so hold on. Stitch and low fax. You're on the roof, so I want 17s from you. Tane yeah. and Switch, you're in the truck, so you've got stuff to hold on to. You're a little bit further back because you're able to shoot, so 13s from you. Oh, thank uh, God for that. I got 26. I got thirteen. You got thirteen. <laughs> I got eleven. I've got an athletics of oh, no, twelve, that. and I you had I got points. a fourteen. Then you have a reroll. So Lofax and I are flying off the van together. No, but you can spend your luck pat, your luck points, Stitch. You'll make it with. I've only got two luck points. Oh, <laughs> luck, I use luck as my dump stat. So. <laughs> then you guys have rerolls. No, nope. No, I use no, that That's okay. We go off together. And I'm like, yep. Jericho, nice to meet you. <laughs> Aim for the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Somewhere you're both you're it. both falling off this vehicle. Can we Nobody land on the day. half truck? <laughs> no, it's crashed. It's oh, crashed. okay, yeah. Let's not land on that. <laughs> um, so you guys are going to take impact damage. Luckily, a mattress truck was next to you <laughs> just at that point. A trampoline <laughs> truck. <laughs> Oh, on it just story. come back. Don't worry, your armor will absorb this. 4d6 damage. Um, but it's only 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. okay that's not too bad. So good. It's only take one point of damage from that. I'll take two. Yeah, that's rubbish. That wouldn't even have killed me. <laughs> it was two twos and two threes. But I assume we're now on the road, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you can have to... so, well, the. We'll get back to what happens there. So what? We'll pull, a, we'll pull a lethal weapon, jump up just like Mel Gibson, and start chasing after the band. <laughs> so, T1, but low is it. not do that with a broken leg. T one thousand. And the yeah. is full. I'm super hopping down the road. <laughs> <laughs> Close right, so, on the guy on the motorcycle, and we'll take it. Six million dollar man did only have one cybernetic leg, didn't he? So, uh, okay. there you go. Very good at triple jump. Switch Tane. What do you want to do? Um, you've seen them fall off. I'm going to look at the switch and go, do you want to get the driver? And I'll start going through all this crap. Uh, load whatever we need on the bike. I'll cover you. And <laughs> You're shooting is there me. Any... I don't know what we need. We need all of this crap. I'll just fucking stick what you can on the bike. And I'm just going to... Just gonna... shoot the fucking is there driver. Anyone... Is there anyone following us still? There's shooting. still the bike. There's still the other I'm going to shoot the guy on the bike. Because he's actively trying to kill us right now. Okay, the way he's moving, you're shooting at the vehicle rather than him. So, make a roll. Uh, oh, sorry. Um, close 17. range, assault rifle, 17 or more. Tane, just get, shout at the driver to stop and run away. And we won't kill him. I rolled a 5. Sorry? I got a 17, I rolled a 5. Nice. You hit him. Well, you hit the bike. Roll for damage. So, did you say 66 for this gun? I said it was an additional D6. How many? Yeah, it was normally yeah. five. All right, fine. So Wasted by my own tard on that one. That's fine. <laughs> Dan, is there a way to communicate with the cab from the back? Yeah, there's a hatch. Mm. Okay. Now that you look uh, more closely, there's one of those you, slide hatches. Can you crit a motorbike? Depends how much damage you've done. Uh, I did 24, but I did get two sixes. So you do get to do the crit damage again. How does that work? Don't you? Am I going mad? I thought well, if you rolled two D6s... Yeah, when you crit someone, you roll 2d6 on a crit table. I don't know how that works on a vehicle. Don't know. There is no vehicle crit roll that table. There should be. You've done 26 point of damage. It's got 35 hits, so it's still going. Um, but for 26 point of damage... Could I hit a tyre or something and blow it out? Yeah. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. So you lay down a lot of fire... The bullets basically stream up the road towards him, take out his bike, take out his light, take out an exhaust. He loses control of the vehicle. It's not destroyed, but he does hit the tarmac. So he falls off. 
and then the bike stops. And also, one thing we've been forgetting is that every critical hit does an additional five points of damage. So oh, right. there, there's where you get the bonus for non. Ah. Okay, so the vehicle is still in one piece. Well, it's not one piece. It's severely damaged, but still usable. Um, it's hit the ground. He's hit the ground, so he's off the bike and off him. There you go. You've um, got a bike to catch up now, chaps. Tana, you've got hatch. So what do you want to shout in? Or I'm going to open the hatch and shout, get out and run for it if you want to live. Get out. But I've also got a gun in hand to do this I with. Your clothes, the, your bullets, go and and your away your from me if you want to live. Drive the point home. I would like another persuasion roll, please. Absolutely. It's also a James Cameron movie now. Okay, chasing so yeah. eight on the roll and an eight on persuasion that's 16 plus two minus two is 16. i think i need some sort of roll as well resist interrogation resist interrogation. yeah so it's a d10 for me basically a roll off what did you get that's 16. he looks at you he looks out of his windscreen mirror and his his rear mirror at the explosions and then turns to the door opens the door and jumps out <laughs> this van now Son of a bitch. has a driver <laughs> like stop stop the van and get out <laughs> so how you big is the hatch <laughs> sorry oh it's how... a slidey hatch like literally only that I big. mean could we like oh so no no pushing Tarnay through the hatch <laughs> Unless you um, juice me first. So You've we'll get, like lash we'll, on to we'll, the steering wheel and <laughs> we'll jump over to Stitch and Lofax. So you get yourselves up. You dust yourself off. Both of you kind of well, you don't lip, you kind of get up and then you see this poor white beret pulling himself up. And you just walk over, either shoot him in the face or punch him. And he just goes down like a sack of potatoes. So you've got this bike if you need it. But now, in the distance, you can see the you see the guy fall out, and the van begins to. Uh, so, Stitch yells to get, Lofax, "Get on! Get! I'll get on the back. You pull up side. I'll jump in." Uh, with your foot going backwards, I'm like, "I'm gonna fix that for free, Floyd man." I was <laughs> Thanks, great man. with a grenade. Thanks, and Jericho. Punches it. <laughs> punches the bike. I'm choking down. Shoot the guy who got out. Choking well. down a little tear. I, mean, I only promised I wouldn't kill him. Ah, Stitch doesn't kill people who aren't trying to kill him. It's his. Code. I do. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Tardo, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to try and grab something from the back here, like a strap or something, and loop it round the handbrake and try and stop the vehicle. Pull your belt off. It's not long enough. Um. Yeah, okay, so these crates, um, some of them are kind of covered over in that sort of camo netting stuff. So you grab you a bit of, of that. Tarp pulling yeah, things you, with like yeah, yeah, and that as well. Stuff. Yeah. And you kind of make a rudimentary hoop yep. with, a clap, with a buckle as weight behind it so you can kind of throw it and hook the hat. Uh, the handbrake and pull it. Yeah. So I want some sort of roll for the throw. It's not going to be easy, mate. I'm going to say that athletics now. again, surely. Yeah. I think we'll go, yeah. Athletics is probably the safest bet for me as well. <sighs> to be fair. Uh, I'm going to okay, say. So that's it's... a nine on the roll, plus a seven from the athletics is sixteen. Sixteen. Plus two, minus two, still sixteen. How short am I? I was going to say you're in the same predicament as Lofax and that you needed a 21. Ooh. It's now, five luck. You could spend it. That's five luck and I can afford that. So I'll yeah. do it. Yikes. Right. So you pull the handbrake. You are, however, fan flips. Say, <laughs> you are, however, doing a handbrake stop in a fast-moving vehicle with no driver, no driver. in traffic. In traffic, 
So this van... <laughs> we just get to our bike and we're like looking and it goes, <laughs> we just go... Yeah. <laughs> like that. Okay. Hits an oncoming car. Concertina's the car in front of it. You can see the blood of the squashed oh passengers spray across their windscreen as you basically <laughs> squeeze them Truth like a tomato speakers, ketchup. Man, bastards. Your, vehicle, your van then flips over the car to land on the roof. Tane, Stitch, you, I want another athletics roll. This is basically going to boil down to how much damage you're going to get, depending on your roll. You are going to take have damage. You got, have you got both your arms through that small hatch? <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I got nine on the dice again, fortunately. Ooh. Um, so that's uh, 16. 16. I got 16 as well. Okay, so we'll say 3d6. Eight, nine, dead. ten, eleven. I am fine. I don't and uh, armor takes off of that. Yes. Yes. Okay, so we'll I'm fine. Eleven minus six. That's five. five. I have eleven armor. And my armor goes Take down by one. Dead. Nope. Tane <gasps> has a hit point left. <laughs> 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 And I can't even be told I fixed that because I'm shit at maths. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that's fucking amazing. Okay, guys. Not gonna lie, mate. I think I need a medic. So, <laughs> here's what happens. We're gonna move into narrative now because it's almost 11 o'clock and I think we're kind of there. So, you guys get yourself up. In the aftermath, you're able to get the evidence you need off the truck and onto the bike and you're later joined um, by a another bike spare bike from um, from Boxtown and you're able to get some extra stuff on that as well. You take the evidence back to Boxtown Tane, through some investigative journalism through Paperwork, money trails, contracts, um, third-party overseas accounts, the works, highly sophisticated sort of um, money manoeuvring. You're able to ascertain that Arasaka Corporation, the people who run this mega this mega building. Paid the, these white berets to hit the um, to hit the mob meeting to arrange the um, the um, the hit by the um, corporate ninja type from a third party company, Militech, interestingly, which is also a business enemy of Arasaka. Makes them look bad. It does make them look bad. Yeah, but basically, are. it looks... There's even... You even find a record of a, one of the um, office workers within that private corp, private Merc company was also an Arasaka employee. So it basically looks like that one part of Arasaka um, was trying to outdo another part of Arasaka to basically put their military contracts and their their funding pools. It's all about money. It's so shit that people's lives have been put at risk because basically one Arasaka corporate exec wanted to outdo another corporate exec um, so that their funding project for Arasaka robots, um, security guards, would be the one that receives the funding to um, protect the citizens of um, Mega City, th Mega Building 13. And therefore, uh, raise the tensions um, in the city because there would be the gang war. There would have been more need for extra men, so more money would have been spent on it. So he would have got promoted and all this sort of stuff. The white, the white berets, the truth speakers, are anti-corporation. 
<laughs> what at anti corporation and yet they got into bed with these guys as well it does look like that they were going to take the money and, and once they'd done this move out so they could spend the money on more anti corporation work but they basically done a deal with the devil who that corporate exec is that had organized it as a story for another day but as we leave our um, edge runners they are healed up they've received the best private health care that um, that criminal money could buy um, and of course stitches um, high grade medical services uh, Lofax gets his treatment so he's no longer on death's door uh, Tane is fully recovered and his papers his uh, news reporting and newscasting sets him to new fame and heights within the oh, hell yeah. this is getting mecha like building um, however it does make him a few enemies within Arasaka um, Stitch sorry Switch his uh, reputation as a mechanic um, goes further and more people are coming towards him for business and he's able to pimp out more vehicles and guns and he's got himself some sweet ass weapons um Lofax is able to do better business, but and there's a vacancy in the um, <laughs> business hierarchy now that makes well, what, what as we leave our edge runners, basically, they seem to make new a new role within the mega building, but also within the streets, cities of Night City as well, as um, third party um, organized crime fixer fixers. So Organize, they come to you guys if they've got um, a dispute between two organizations, between two criminal organizations, and, they're willing, and they pay you lots of money to do it, to, to sort out whatever the problem is for them. So you're like basically a independent, um, trusted freelance fixer unit um, for organized crime. <laughs> Um, and they, they kind of um, sort you out with your own digs and your own workshop for Stitch and your own um, uh, your own med bay for, and all this sort of stuff if you want it and equipment for Lofax to sell and all sorts so that you're basically able to support them. Um, I don't think we're going to have time for XP and how it works <laughs> um, because we're now hitting on to 11 o'clock. Um, so unless anyone wants to add any other thoughts on what they think the character might also happen to do... The most important no thing we got along the way was friendship. It was a journey. That's it, I'm shooting Lofax. It's going to end <laughs> with, <laughs> with Lofax and Jericho shaking, you know, shaking hands. Uh, Predator style. Predator style. Ooh. As, a, as Jericho quickly flips his broken leg back into position and he screams <laughs> and like right. grab his hand like <laughs> motherfucker perhaps the real treasure was the multi-car pile-ups we caused along the way it was uh, <laughs> the real yeah. treasure is i managed to keep the motorbike to sell for money <laughs> so yeah. much there, there, there is however um you are all suspected and wanted by the police um for causing major pile-ups no that was the truth speakers I uh, actually, I have that. to say that I did most of that. <laughs> <laughs> I know that, and you know that, and I did no, some of it too. Just, I was like suddenly realizing, I was like, us, we're the PR branch of our new oh, of course. So, oh, I'm not going to say that out loud. It can't have been us. I'm not going to say that out loud. Obviously, the truth speakers that did it. Definitely, that heavy what machine they gun. They, they were just they were just firing that heavy machine gun down a busy yeah, highway. Just some carefully edited footage, yeah. just shots of the heavy machine gun firing and. Other and then cut to an exploding up. car. Yeah. Okay. So that's it. Um, thank that's you very awesome. much for joining us. If you're watching us on YouTube, don't forget to share, like, and ring the bell. Don't forget to join us on the Discord and uh, follow us on the chat and uh, our Twitter. Um, any other games happening this week on Friday or tonight? Tomorrow is the first part of Monster of the Week uh, finale for this yes, first season. Yes, we've got a two-part Monster yeah. of the Week finales on tomorrow and next week. Uh, we've just found out that we're going to be getting our crazy hippie expert 
joining us for the finale as well because Ray's going to be back, which is cool. Cool. And Lewis is going to be running that, so mm. he's um, excited about maybe trying to TPK the Monster of the Week crew. <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, and then next week is Aliens Alien. on the... Yeah. Alien, sorry. Alien I think we're the... all going to die on Tuesday. Yeah. I, I really thought I was going to die <laughs> when that creature appeared, and I was like standing there with my little pistol, and it just tore the android's head off. I was like... Oh, and I was close to just shutting you out so you did die as well, to be fair. Uh, I, I wouldn't have blamed you. No. <laughs> Good um, and then Wednesday will be... Oh, no, no, no Warhammer Wednesday this no. next week uh, oh. because Jim's on holiday, mm -hmm. lazy git. Um, <laughs> and then are we having a little bit of a prank on Thursday or is it straight into... So next Thursday, then, we're just, I'm just doing a dev stream or a, or a gaming stream. And then the following week, and I'm, I'm still toying with whether or not we're live streaming or recording and releasing because of my childcare <laughs> challenges. Uh, but I will be starting up an endless uh, uh, Heroic Deeds um, game, which is my D&D &D rebuild, goal-based D&D rebuild. So I'm really looking forward to doing that. I've got three players at the moment, just need to find a fourth, and then we're, we're good to go. Although we may just have three. So, oh. yeah. So... Thank you very much, everybody, for joining us tonight. Thank you very much for participating in our Twitch stream and I um, hope you all had fun with us. Uh, I've been Dan. This has been Cyberpunk Red, Night City Highs. Yeah. Um, carry on, Edge Runners. Have a good night. Bring on season two.